Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I'm going to show you how you can deploy your Flask app on AWS Elastic Beanstalk. So let's begin. So first of all, I'll tell you what's Elastic Beanstalk. Elastic Beanstalk is a tool in AWS which is used to deploy applications easily, and it is also uh, it also involves all the tools like AWS S3, RDS, or EC2 instances automatically and deploys the app for you in just few simple commands. So we'll see what are those commands, and we'll see how our app is uh, gets like on a Elastic Beanstalk domain just in a few minutes. So let's begin. So I have a sample Flask app right here, which just says hello. And for this process, for you to deploy the Flask app on AWS Beanstalk, you need to name your main file as application.py. And also inside that, you need to name the Flask name, the Flask app name as the application, and also the, you need to run that application here. So let's begin with the further part. Now for uh, the command line, commands we can we need to install some requirements and so first of all we need to install aws cli for elastic beanstalk which can be installed using pip install aws eb cli and you can just upgrade it if, you, if it's already installed this way install the aws eb cli inside your device All right, so we have installed Elastic Beanstalk CI in our system. Now we'll just configure our AWS. So I'll show you how you can configure your AWS with the keys. All right, guys. So now I'll show you how you can create access keys for your AWS account. So head up to your AWS console and then head up to the your profile section, uh, your profile down bar, and you can see the security credentials tab here. Now click on that. And now scroll down to the manage key sec section and you can click on create access key here and now it will ask you to create the keys for a particular user uh, you can select the user for which you want to create some keys but i'll just select the root user which has all the permissions uh, but you can select any particular user which has limited access to the aws uh, services so i'll just create a access key for my root user here and i click on create access key so here's the access key uh, access key id and secret access key as well you can copy these and set up in your aws configure uh, in a terminal all right, so the second thing includes is downloading the AWS CLI uh, package. You can install it for Windows through the MSI installer. You can search for AWS CLI install. And you can hit up the first link here. And now go down in the Windows section and you can head up to the AWS CLI uh, official link, which is present right here. And now you can uh, install it uh, any way you want. And you can run this package like this and just follow through all the setup process and install the AWS CLI. All right, it is already installed for me, so uh, it will not walk me through all the steps, but uh, those are just simple steps which requires access to directories or permissions, something like that. For installing uh, AWS CLI in your Linux system, the commands are re relatively simpler. So you just have to hit a call request to AWS CLI server, and then you have to unzip the file you have installed here, and then just uh, run this command, sudo AWS install, that will install AWS CLI in your Linux, Linux system. All right, so after you install AWS CLI, you can head up to your terminal. Uh, you can first restart your device, and then head up to the terminal and look for AWS hyphen hyphen version to verify if AWS CLI has been installed or not. And if you get a version number just like this, that represents that your CLI has been installed. Now for configuring the AWS CLI uh, for multiple services, basically to configure your AWS account inside terminal, you can run the command AWS configure. And now you can enter all the access keys and all the uh, secret access and also the region name, which are present right here. Uh, as you can see, I've already entered it. So it shows me a value right here, but it will sh uh, show none if you have entered nothing as of now. All right, so I'll just click on enter because I don't want to change it right now. And AWS secret access key, you'll put, put the secret access right here. For the region name, just put the region name in which you're working. And for the default output format, you can keep it none as of now. All right, I know AWS has been configured now. So now you can start working with AWS. All right, perfect. So now you need to also create a requirements.txt file. So for that, you can use the pip freeze command and create a requirements.txt file. I have already created here. So that's perfect. And now we can move on to the next part. So now we can actually 
start building our plastic beanstalk application so for that we can use the command eb and for that we can use eb in it and then we can choose the p hyphen p flag and keep it as python 3.8 version or any version you want and then you can name your app something like flask eb and this will initiate the process for you on its own so now it will do some processes like setting up AWS EC2 instances and S3 buckets for you. And after that uh, process, after those processes, it will say Flask EB has been created. So now we can uh, create a Flask environment through which our application will actually run. So your application will run after only after you have created an environment. So for creator create, so to create an environment, you can run the command EB create Flask ENV, something like that. And that's that will create an environment for your Flask app to run inside. So let's wait for it to create, and then we'll move on to the next part. All right. So as you can see, the process has now completed. So we'll just look at what services it has created. So we can see Elastic Beanstalk has automatically created the S3 storage bucket here. Then it has created a security group. Then after that, it has created a target group. And then it is also created the scaling group for us for automated scaling process. And then it has created the EC2 instance. After that, it has created a six scaling group policy. And it has also created the cloud watch alarm and also a load, load balancer to balance the loads on our application. So that's what all our AWS Elastic Beanstalk creates when we deploy an application. So now it says that application is available at this domain right here. So if we go to this domain, we should be able to access our application. So I'll just, I can also access it using, using the command eb open. And if I run this command, I should be redirected to the browser. And yeah, with that URL. And as you can see, we can see our application which just says hello. And this was our original application, as you can see right here, which just returned hello. So that was how simple it was to deploy a Flask app on AWS Elastic Beanstalk with all the uh, production measures including load balancing and S3 EC2 instances as well. All right, so we have learned how we can use Beanstalk to deploy applications and that's it for the video. So guys, thanks for watching.